Hi, welcome back to Everyday Race. Today I'm going to be testing Moglite once again. This time, unlike in a part one video where I tested this stuff in a non running engine, today I'm going to be testing it in a running engine. Uh, the engine's got a non synthetic oil. I was going to change the oil and go with the synthetic, but after talking to uh, a friend of mine from Jamaica, Nick, he said that synthetic is that much better and the Moglide might not be worth using the synthetic so that's what I was gonna do but then I decided I ah, what might as well try it on the non synthetic see what happens and when I change oil in about a month I'll test it back to back with the synthetic that way I'll have synthetic non synthetic treated synthetic and treated non synthetic and see if this stuff is actually worth using and it might end up just being worth using in the non-synthetic oil. Uh, synthetic oil might be good enough without it. Or the gains from this are not going to be worth it. So today I'm going to be using this torque app. And I'm going to be looking at three things. I'm going to be looking at a coolant temperature sensor a reading. Which is uh, had the truck running for 10 minutes now. So it's up to temperature and it's uh, 183.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Second thing I'm going to be looking at uh, LTFT1, which is a long trim. Revs. And fourth would be I'm going to measure oil pan temperature to see what the temperatures of the oil. So enough talking. Let's go and measure that first and see what it looks like. Alright, so the way I'm going to measure it is by putting a gun uh, next to this cross member. I'm going to put it right against it, just like so. And then I'm going to press the button and measure temperature at the drain plug. There you go. And it's reading 165 degrees. Next, I'm going to put Moglide in the engine while it's running. Let it run for 10 minutes. Whoops. I'm going to let it run for 10 minutes and see what happens. So let's see how much of the stuff we got to use. Okay, cars, pickup trucks, one ounce per quart. Alright, so I got four and a half quarts of oil in there, so I'll put five ounces. Okay, we got... 16, 14, 4, so right around here. Put the cap back on. Now, as you can see, LTFT went up 
And the reason being is because uh, when you open the uh, oil cap, it, it creates a vacuum leak. So as you can see, it's coming down. And uh, so far, engine is running the same. So I'm going to let it idle for another 10 minutes. And then I'll go ahead and measure oil temperature of the oil pan. And we'll look at the uh, data on the, on the torque app and see what happens. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes of the truck running. So let's look at the data first. And the coolant temperature actually went down from 183 to 176. So that that's uh that that's improvement in my book. Uh LT FT1 about the same it, it, it's bouncing from 8.5 to 9.38 uh, so that no improvement there the revs are staying about the same uh, they were bouncing from 822 rpm to like 850 so it's about the same nothing to write books about so Next, let's look at the engine and how it's running. Now, I put my hand on the radiator support, and uh, honestly, I think it runs smoother. But if I was going to put my money on it, I, uh, I honestly I can't tell you 100% if it made any difference uh, on the vibration-wise. So the last thing. The thing that I really was the most excited is to see what the temperature of the oil pan, oil pan drain plug to be exact. So let's go ahead, let me get on my knees. So it was 165 degrees before. All right, so I got the flashlight this time. I'm getting smart. So I'm going to put the gun and move my finger out of the way. I'm going to put the gun same position against the cross member and I'm going to point at the drain plug. There we go. 162.5 so there was a reduction of two degrees oil which is uh not a whole lot but it's uh it's actually improvement so so let's see what else see the cone temperature staying the same so, what is the conclusion going to be? Did it make a difference? Did this stuff make, make a difference? Uh, it did. Temperature wise, as you can see, intake temperature is about the same, 125 degrees. So the, uh, the weather temperature didn't change. And uh, cooling temperature definitely went down. So... That was a small improvement. I'm definitely going to test it against synthetic. So I'm going to run synthetic uh, for probably like 10, 20 miles. Let it flush out the Castro, the regular Castro. And then once it's done, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm also going to uh, track my miles per gallon. As you can see, it's uh, 31.3 dropped down from 31.4 because the truck's been idling for... 20 minutes obviously it's not moving so there aren't any and there's zero miles to the gallon right now so I'm going to keep track of that and see if it'll actually go up I'll say the same or nothing at all so so the, the results were positive but they were not crazy they were not huge nothing 
to write books about it, in my opinion. Would I use it? I'll have to test it. It's synthetic, and, I, and then I'll have to test it in the differential. I think differential is going to be really tough for this stuff. Uh, and the differential is going to tell me if I'm going to use this product or if I'm going, I'm going to recommend it for others. So, but that's going to be it for now. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, hit a like button. And uh, like always, have a good day.